So, uh, about the biome, in the Jain texts about uh, sixth century BCE, they're talking about something called as a Niguda. They're saying Niguda means essentially uh, almost non-existent beings. They're saying tiny lives are all over us, inside us, outside us, everywhere. So, the biggest presence on the planet is these tiny lives. We are not an individual life. We are a life of consequence of all these lives, not only microbiome, every other life. This is why in yoga, each asana is named after one animal, because all of them in some way exist within us. This is our development. We are the flower of evolution. This is… Uh, this is fascinating. I mean, it's it still… even though you explain it, I mean, there's… There's some sort of an insight that is… is beyond what we practice in the West. One way to understand this is, all the machines and instruments that we have created on this planet are only extensions of our already existing faculties. Only because we can see a microscope or a telescope is meaningful. So, there is another way, when we don't have these instruments, there is another way to enhance your faculties, that's where the sages come in. Our scientists were sages, our sages were scientists. So we never separated our sages and scientists. Scientists and sages, sages and mathematicians, sages and musicians, sages and astronomers, all same people. Because there were no telescopes, there were no microscopes, there were no other outside instrument. The only instrument is this one, evolving this to a place where this can see everything that it can see.